Hello, and welcome to What's Bubbling at Zim. I am Dr. Abstract, and in this bubbling, we're going to take a look at what is new in Zim 017. Aha, we've just launched Zim 017. So this bubbling will uh, take an overview, and then we'll look at the individual things in separate bubblings. You can see that we've got a little chat bot up there rolling around, and we also have a banner here saying Rive. Okay, Rive is an animation tool. So that's how you can get into what's new. You can also get into what's new by hitting the Zim017 here, or in the About section under Versions. There's all of our official versions are there as well. So let's just go and do it through the banner here, Zim017. There are the new things. You also have what was new in Zim 016, which was the forum and shaders, etc. And Zim 015, we had texture actives Ooh, and Zim in VR and uh, more things as well. Um, Zim 014, etc. So we've now sort of launched these things along here as to all those that are new. Note the different banners for each one. We are taking a look at Zim 017. All right, uh, so the chat bot. Yes, you can press on that little chat bot, whoop, like so, and there's a chat bot. And the idea is you would ask a question, make a rectangle with an orange border and hit submit prompt. It goes and it thinks, and what we're doing is we're feeding in to chat GPT, and there is our orange rectangle, a new rectangle, 200, it's orange border indeed, it is centered, and we can say down here, uh, yeah, it got it right. Uh, I mean, I don't need a big long const like that, but you know, whatever, it's fine. So uh, it can do that. Anyway, we'll talk more about that. Like I said, just wanted to give you an overview of each of these things. And the other, the next thing is Rive. So here's a couple examples of Rive. Um, Rive is an animation tool similar to Adobe Animate, just a little bit um, lighter. And it was also the hottest, latest thing. So people love to animate in Rive. And it does have interactions as well. So we'll go through that as um, we have got different things here, but we'll go through all of those when we do the bubbling specifically on Rive. So uh, let's see, uh, which one do we want? we want? This one. Um, those are the Rive examples. And we have also added, uh, which is nice, in outline image. So this image was automatically outlined if it's a PNG. And we simplified the points on those. And then we added concave uh, by default to physics. So isn't that amazing? Yay! That makes it all very much easier. Um, next, we have some work here where that just expanded open, and then we're going to close it. So be it. <laughs> Yay! Uh, oh, and this is also set up so that when we look at British Columbia, there's British Columbia. If I look at Ontario, British Columbia closes. If I look at United States, Canada closes. So that was a request, and we put that work in. So once again, when we refresh here, it started off opened up. And so that's kind of new too. All right, so that's that one. Um, then we have any pictures for an indicator. So this is our indicator. And now we can use any display object for those. So that's that. And the last one here is what? There's a continuous parameter on pages. So we're on the first page here. Uh, but if I go back, I can actually go to the last page, or if this was the first, I keep on going, and there's the last page, and it keeps on going. So that's a continuous parameter added to pages. We're also working on something new with the list to be able to drag from one list to another, or even drag within the list um, our items. So that's exciting and almost done, and we'll add it to these. You can see all these updates under Zim Updates right here. And there's the chatbot. Here's the Rive integration. The, well, a bunch of, I guess, some other things as well as in here. There's the outlining of the image and the physics. The list accordion, the selector improvements. We've locked down on globals. So there's exactly what globals we have. 
made sure that there weren't too many globals hanging around and various other general uh, improvements the brakes we're already working on patches as well a lot of updates to sites as well so the um, the site and the editor and kids some uh, big updates in there we can talk about those as we get to it and also we added a way to uh, an example of getting data to and from node using async and using bind so you can use async or ajax actually async ajax and bind those are three ways to get data traditionally we had gone to php but these show all the ways uh, going to node.js now so that's exciting and there we go okay so that's the updates for zim 017 in general and we'll be doing bubbling videos oh so look forward to it bubbling videos for each of those coming up i am dr abstract have a great day or night please join us zimjs.com slash discord zimjs.com slash forum or forum.zimjs.com <laughs> ciao